Lulu, you're in the doctor's way. He's fine. He's Don't fine. buy this whole friend of Spinelli's routine. Lulu's nobody's friend. She's an equal opportunity drama queen. Okay, all I care about is that Spinelli's gonna be all right. Here comes the fake concern. Your friend is recovering nicely from the fever. It's the other symptoms. What? What other symptoms? Um, the jackal fears that the Battle of the Blonde Ones could possibly give the wrong impression. See, I... There's... Do you know why you're here, Mr. Spinelli? I mean, like, here in the larger esoteric sense, like, why does the jackal exist on Earth? Hey, I, I meant, no, just here in this hospital. Of course he knows why he's here in the hospital. Why not let the grown man speak for himself? Why are you here? Well, the pizza delivery man. Um, he, he arrived with large quantities of uh, greasy carbs to assist the jackal in his recovery from an over imbibement of alcohol. He passed the dreaded agony to Stone Cold. The jackal and Vixenella nursed the master through his dreaded feverish time, and unfortunately, the jackal succumbed. The ague took hold, and here we are. But Spinelli's gonna get better, right? He's gonna be all right. Uh, it's important that he stays hydrated, and I am gonna actually keep him for observation. Fine. I'm running tests. There are a number of possibilities. Whoa, 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 what, what kind of tests? What, what do you think is wrong with him? He just told you he's recovering from the ague. Sometimes you're as thick as a brick, Lulu. So, when can I take Spinelli home? When I say so. But you two can leave any time. He's really rude. Coffee go, or are you staying for lunch? Stay. Sam, she is meeting me here. I had to cancel yet another dinner last night, so I'm trying to make it up to her by... Buying her a sandwich. Not exactly a fair trade, though. Yeah, he doesn't uh, canceling at the last minute go with the territory when you're dating a cop. Yeah, Sam, she's the opposite. She never complains. You know, she always says that plans are made to be changed. Wow. Well, now that is the woman of my dreams. Yeah, I'm just afraid that she may be running out of patience. Well, you know, the person that you should be discussing this with, I'm <laughs> standing right behind you. How long have you been standing there? Long enough to tell you how sweet you are, even when you are totally wrong. You probably want to know what's going on between Anthony Zakara and Jerry Jacks. Are you telling me this as an objective observer? Jerry walked into Anthony's hotel room and he put a gun to John Zakara's head and he took him hostage. Sounds like the Zakaras need better bodyguards. So Jerry claimed that Anthony threatened Christina. Huh? No. Actually, we had a, a lovely conversation about Christina and her day camp and how little children who wander off by the water can drown, even if they know how to swim. Alexis, He's please, a lovely guy, really. I can understand why you work so hard to get him freed from prison. I sure as hell hope he pays you well. Look, this is really not a great time for me. I, I have a lot of Look, stuff I'll, I have to take care of. Just take a moment, okay? And listen, my aunt is Alexis Davis, the district attorney, and your father is threatening her daughter, Christina. I mean, okay, Claudia. okay, okay. My father wanted Johnny released from custody, and he went about it in a completely wrong okay, way. Okay, th th there's no point in explaining. Either convince your father to back off. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to go to Jason Morgan and, and tell him that you and your daughter were responsible for Michael's shooting. I can't look. You have to. You look. I'm not going to look. Please, Jason, look for me. Fine, I'll look. You're not pregnant. Don't get me wrong, not that I wouldn't love to have a baby, but not with all these lies. Everything turned out fine. No, no, it didn't turn out fine. fine. Next up, take the test before you tell people I got you pregnant. You don't understand. I feel like I've been given a second chance with Jax. No one has to know that I had sex with Sonny. And I don't care what you say. I know you think I should tell him, but there's no way I'm losing Jax over some stupid mistake with You know Sonny. what? I'm not going to tell you what to do. Next time, you leave me out of it. You can't be mad at me. Next time, leave me out of the tangled web that you weave, Carly. And just be careful. I think if I were pregnant, then you think that you wouldn't lie for me, but I know you would. And I know you'd hate every second of it, but you would do that for me. And because of that, I love you. 